My work as an ecumenical officer for the U.S. Catholic bishops has led me to place great hopes in the possibility of deeper friendship and mutual understanding between the Catholic Church and the Latter-day Saints. Our two communities differ dramatically in the ways in which we interpret the message of Jesus, and yet for reasons having to do with our shared concerns about the breakdown of moral consensus and concerns about religious freedom in American society, we have lately found ourselves united in giving voice to civic values in the public square. An interreligious dialogue between Latter-day Saints and Catholics might well enable both sides to understand better what motivates the other to give a moral witness in society. Through such a dialogue, <clears throat> Catholics may yet develop a more positive theological assessment of Mormonism than has been reflected up till now in official statements of the Catholic Church. Historical precedent shows that the Catholic Church is capable of development in its assessment of another religious tradition, even one with whom it shares a history of mutual estrangement. The treatment of Islam at the Second Vatican Council, that very important meeting of the Catholic bishops, 1962 to 1965, reform-oriented council it was, the treatment of Islam at the Council is one possible analogy with how, with how the Catholic Church might orient herself in relation to the LDS. In this brief presentation, I want to suggest that a more positive assessment of Mormonism is possible within a framework that straddles between the warrants that Vatican II gives on the one hand for ecumenical relations and on the other hand for interreligious engagements. Following this proposal, I will offer some brief recommendations for how the Catholic LDS relationship might develop in the coming years, drawing on the lessons, the hard lessons learned from Catholic Jewish relations since the Council. Mm -hmm. 